Mybuk, Field Agronomist for Pioneer in the KZN area. Um, today we're at the PKP plot here in Winterton, Burgville area. Um, I'll be dis discussing a few varieties with you guys. Just give a bit of information and recommendations and my likings in the variety. Um, we're starting off with, with a white uh, variety. It's in the longer grow, grow, growth class. It's P2927WYR. So first off, this variety, um, 2927, is about a 129 CRM variety, so it, 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 it's put in the longer growth class spectrum. Um, it's mainly used in the western area of our, of our country, um, but yeah, we use it in KZN as well. Um, some areas we do use it as for grain varieties. We've been testing it for, for silage uh, capability as well, and my preference would be using it as a, a silage, good silage variety, just due to its bulk ability. Um, and yeah, last year we did a trial where we planted this variety at different plant populations just to see what the influences um, of this variety is under planting populations. The higher plant populations uh, didn't give higher bulk, but it just gave us a higher start um, index in our quality where the lower plant populations tend to um, show better bulk ability. Yeah, so my recommendation for, for this variety or the usability for this variety is it can be used as, as grain as I said. Um, plant populations not too high um, and then for silage as well, it's, it's a good variety for silage. And yeah, this, just a short, short info of, of 2927 WYR, so going to the next variety. So we have the next variety, P2555 WB, so it's um, a Monate 9 variety um, that we've launched about a year or two ago. Uh, it's the upgrade of the 2553 um, WB as well, or WY. So the difference between the two is just the difference in um, the BT gene or BT genetics. Monate 9 versus Monate 10. Um, the Monate 9 is the improvement showing uh, better control on, on the stalk bores and um, ballworm that we've, we've experienced in our area. So it falls into the 1 to 5 um, growth class or CRM spectrum, which is a medium to medium quick um, spectrum in, in our KZN area where we normally use it. It's, it's a good dryland variety, um, producing very good high yields, um, especially on dryland production areas. So um, the plant populations that I would like this variety to be planted is not higher than 50,000, um, which would be due to its, its big stature of the plant or openness of the plant. Northern leaf blight and grey leaf um, spraying programs um, will be advised because um, it tends to have get some northern leaf blight and, and grey leaf. Yeah, and the grain quality of this variety is actually very good. We're very happy with, with the quality of it. So the next variety, P2531WR. So it, it's a medium, medium quick variety, um, new, new um, genetic platform that we have. We wanted to replace the 2369 um, genetic line, which is a very good and stable variety in our area. So this variety definitely showed a big uh, uh, improvement on, on yield in, 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 in coming through the ranks in comparison to the 2369. It's well adapted to both dryland and irrigation uh, acres or hectares. You want to plant it there. So, what I like about this variety is it's got a very nice grain quality um, with a high flint in it. It's a nice fixed ear variety that, that, that do, so that means it responds well to planting population. So in our trials, we've been seeing a good response on plant population from 55 upwards to to 70. So yeah, and it. One thing that, that I do like about the variety is the stature of the plant. The, it's got a nice stature, nice open leaf um, as well. And yeah, on the northern leaf blight, it shows an, a bit of improvement there as well in comparison to, 
2369, although still um, a spraying program is required. Yeah, and thanks so much for, for attending the White uh, Information Day.